Hello, Shining Ones. Meg is here on a beautiful day in Asha. If you're brand new to the channel, we're Zoroastrians. We are the Magi. I'm so excited. We're going to be in Asha 4 today. And Asha 4 is all about Magi magic. You know, we, we hear stories of magic and miracles. I, I'm going to share one with you at the end of this video. But how do we do that? That's great. We love to hear these stories. But how do I do that? And I'm going to show you. And you know, Asha 1, 2, and 3 gets us where we can actually work in Asha 4. Asha 4 says, these four powers are the mental powers concerned with forming, right? We we want to form. We, we want to make our world. How do we do that? Asha 1 talks about there's a plastic medium that we work in. What is a plastic medium? It means it can be molded. How do we mold it? It's with mind. Mind is our superpower. My friends, it's an electromagnetic field. It's a frequency that puts those energy waves into particles, my friends. And if we can learn to use that power that is God-given, it's our, it's our divine right. You come from God. You're made of God's stuff. My friends, it's your birthright to create Asha. It's an injustice to us when we suffer sickness and disease. It's an injustice to suffer in poverty and lack. It's not right for a child of the king and inside we know that. But what do we do? It's Asha 4, my friends. And you know what? You know this. The word magic was named after the Magi. And you have to ask yourself, am I a Magi? What is a Magi? And so I don't want to be annoying today, but I want you to ask questions and see if you know the answers. What is a Magi? What does Zoroaster mean? What is the original word? My friends, I want you to think about these. Do you know these? You need to know these. The original word is everything. And my friends, we must, we must be possessed by that original word. You know, I think what the Christ said, Jesus said, he who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has God life, eternal life. He was the word incarnate. My friends, we become what we eat. You eat food and it becomes your flesh and your bone and your organs, teeth and eyes. My friends, we, Jesus was saying, eat the word. Jesus said, become the word, was the word incarnate. He's saying, you be the word incarnate. Jesus said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. He wants you to say, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. He wants you to say, I am the Word incarnate. I am that Zoroaster. Zoroaster is pure light. It's undefiled, undiluted, unmixed. Read the Magi text. It's all about unmixed. The world, the reason it suffers is because it's mixed. My friends, even their God is mixed. Their God loves and their God hates. Their God can be at peace. Their God can go to war. My friends, we've got to go back to the original word. What is the original word? Where do you find that? Asha 13. I know some of you knew that. Asha 13, the original word, only good comes from the creator. No evil comes from him. From this original word, our spiritual world is made straight. Then the material world comes into order. Asha 2 talks about to know only good. When this was written, to know was to be, be only good. In our religion, good and God are the same thing. Be God. What did the Christ teach? You and God, one. You and the Christ mind, one. You and the word, one. You are it. Be it. Asha 3 says, I have one job. To hold Asha. To hold love. My friends, and again, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, trust my word, 
believe my word, hold my word, has eternal, everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. My friends, the law of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin, sickness, and death. What is that law? What is this Jesus Christ? What is this Christ mind? What is this vohu menu? It's that, it's that divine spark in you that is God. It's that realization that you and God, good, are one, the true God, that highest principle of good. My friends, Asha 4, the statement... You guys got your book? Grab your book. Go to the statement. Create with word. We create our world with word, with frequency, with energy. We want to hold that original word that came from the perfect creator's perfect mind to create the world we want or will always be searching because we have that divine spark, that fravashi in us that knows where we came from, what we want, and what we came here to build. And we're going to do that with the original word. It says these four powers are the mental powers concerned with forming. Number one, temperance, self-restraint, do not sin, think error. A sin to sin is to think the lie and illusion and error. The sin is to not think truth, not to hold the truth. Sin is to believe the lie and illusion. Then you're living in error and you feel it. My friends, number one, do not sin or think error. Do not think wrong of who God is. That is the trick of the evil spirit. He, you know, if he couldn't beat God, what did he have to do? You know, I, I got to go to this. Will you stay with me? Listen to this. This is from the teachings of the Magi. This just goes so perfectly. I, I hadn't planned this, but listen to this. This was the plan of the evil spirit. He says, I shall destroy thee. So this is the evil spirit talking to God. And so good spirit had offered the evil spirit peace and a truce. Let's get along, right? Because that's good spirit's nature. Here's what the evil spirit says. I shall destroy thee and thy creation forever. Yea, I shall incline all thy creatures to hatred of thee and love of me. How did he do that, my, my friends? But by presenting to the world a God that's mixed. That gets angry, jealous, hate war, kill men, women, and children, sex slaves. Right? It just a confusing God, and it, it's a lie. We have to restore his image, and we know the truth because it's in us, my friends. Now, now get this. Ahura Mazda said, Thou cannot, destructive spirit, accomplish all, for thou cannot destroy me, nor canst thou bring about that my creation should not return to my possession. I love that so much. We win. Right? We have the omniscient creator, the all good God, the light that darkness cannot enter, the love that hate, fear, greed, and war cannot enter. And, and then the most beautiful thing is he says, my creation shall return to me. If you were ever scared, you could be separated from God. My friends, there, there it is. You come from good spirit. You're made of good spirit. You shall return to good Spirit, but I wanted you to see that. That's the trick of the evil spirit to turn you against God by changing God's identity, but by, by lying to you. And that's why we don't sin or think error. We don't believe that lie. We restore God's image. He is just good. My friends, he's unmixed, undefiled, undiluted. That's what Zoroaster means, that, that pure light. The original word that, that we hold, we, we eat it, it becomes us. And what we are is what we create. You cannot fool the power. What you are, what's your frequency is the world you're going to create. Not that you hope for or beg for or wouldn't that be nice, but it's what you are. You got to eat that original word. Therefore, you have to know what that original word is. It takes us back to yesterday's message, Asha 3. My only job is to hold the attributes of God, love, be the love, 
life. Be the life that death cannot enter. Realize who you are. You are life itself. God is your life. Your life is God. And what is God? It's that highest principle of good spirit, good principle. I am peace. I am joy. I am powerful. I am free. I am that original word. I embody it. I'm the word incarnate. If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. I am the word. I am Asha. And we hold it. He who holds my word has God life. And you know, we talk about here at the Order of the Magi that we protect the child. Asha is our child. We hold it. We protect it. I wrote it that way so that you you good parents know what it's like when you got your child, right? You protect it. You We protect our frequency. We protect our truth. With all that we are and all that we have, we, we hold it inside of us. My friends, that Asha, that truth, that pure light, and it is us. And we're creating it all around the world. And you feel it, don't you, my friends? You, you know, this channel, of course, it's it was created to bring Asha to the world. But another thing I had in my heart was to set people free from OCD. The OCD that I found was being created by the false religions. My friends, and as we hold that Asha, that truth, it sets people free in their hearts and minds and then in their life. My friends, it's beautiful. It's healing. It's peaceful. As we hold that truth, and don't you see it? Beautiful magic. You remember before how you would let yourself get lost in that air of thinking, in that sin of thinking, thinking the lie and illusion. But now we won't stand for it. We won't give one minute, one minute to, to getting lost in those loops of the lie, the lie of who God is, the lie that we could be separated from him. Right? We don't give our time to that. We don't give our mind to that, our thoughts to that my mind is God and I am aligning my thoughts to only thank God to think good I won't give my mind over to OCD to get lost in those loops of lie I call it out right nope ain't going there don't play that game anymore how beautiful is that how freeing is that magi all together say with me asha is the all good god is love is peace is joy is kindness is asha is oh it's beautiful do you feel it magi oh i know you do and you know papa magus love love loves you